In the 1970s, South Africa recognized the need for wheeled armored vehicles in its defense. Unlike other countries developing such vehicles, South Africa focused primarily on its own unique circumstances. The country lacked strong military forces in its surrounding areas, so developing heavy firepower wheeled vehicles not only reduced costs, but also suited the local terrain, making them suitable for the regional situation. The Caracal wheeled armored vehicle is a product of this line of thinking, designed to replace armored vehicles such as the Elan 90, a South African version of the Panhard AML 90. In the mid-1970s, South Africa temporarily equipped the 666 Rattel 90 armored vehicle, which proved to have excellent mobility and a dual capability for troop transport and firepower. However, it was only a temporary measure and fell short of South Africa's ideal heavy battle armored vehicle. By the late 1970s, South Africa designed three models of 888 wheeled armored vehicles. The vehicles were equipped with the HV-77 Millinor Cannon, a derivative of the British QF-17 Pounder Gun from World War II, modified to fire 75 Lubminor caliber ammunition by combining it with a 3-inch naval gun to avoid confusion. These armored vehicles were mainly used to validate related concepts and technologies. The three vehicles that emerged in the 1980s with practical value received support from German technology. After testing, a new armored vehicle was introduced in 1987, incorporating the advantages of several experimental vehicles. It was delivered to the military in August 1989 and entered mass production the following year. This vehicle is known as the Caracal Armored Vehicle. The Caracal Armored Vehicle has a relatively sturdy appearance and is powered by a 563 horsepower, 10-cylinder, water-cooled diesel engine which provides impressive power for a wheeled vehicle. It utilizes an 888 wheeled configuration with independent suspension on each wheel and a central tire pressure control system. The first two axles are steerable. The vehicle's armor protection emphasizes underbelly defense because South Africa frequently encountered landmines during operations, which were cheap weapons heavily used by surrounding armed forces. The entire vehicle is made of welded steel armor, and the chassis has reinforced protection for the crew, enhancing survivability after encountering landmines. The front of the vehicle has a large forward slope capable of withstanding attacks from 23mm armor-piercing rounds, while the sides can resist attacks from 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds. The turret is relatively large and somewhat resembles a main battle tank although its defensive capabilities are similar to the hull and do not show significant improvement. The main weapon is a 76mm high-velocity gun, which is a derivative of the Oto 76mm naval gun. Its muzzle velocity can reach 1600 meters per second, and it can penetrate up to 300 nulvenebe meters of steel armor, posing a significant threat to tanks without composite armor. The secondary weapons consist of two MG4 7.62mm machine guns, and there are eight 81mm smoke grenade launchers installed on both sides of the rear of the turret. In 1994, the Caracal replaced the main gun with the GT7 105mm anti-tank gun using NATO standard ammunition. It can achieve a firing rate of six rounds per minute when stationary, although the corresponding ammunition capacity was significantly reduced. The vehicle extensively utilizes modular design, allowing for the installation of different fire control and other systems depending on the situation. In terms of basic performance, the Caracal does not differ significantly from other 888 wheeled armored vehicles of the same type. However, in Southern Africa, it is considered advanced technology equipment and an effective tank hunter. Additionally, several derivative vehicles have been developed based on its chassis. The Caracal armored vehicle weighs 28 tons, with a length of 7.1 meters. The total length with the gun forward is 8.2 meters, width is 2.9 meters, and height is 2.6 meters. It has a maximum highway speed of 120 km per hour, maximum off-road speed of 60 km per hour, and a maximum range of 1,000 km. The vehicle is operated by a crew of four. 